thank you to, to BSIG and the BSIG online team uh, for asking me to do this online workshop. Uh, this is the first time that I've done a workshop online and we're trying out some different technologies in this particular workshop as well. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that everything's going to go according to, to plan. I teach in the south of Germany. I'm based in Ingolstadt. Most of my business English teaching is in company. Um, I have both groups and one-to-one -one, uh, lessons in companies, but I also teach on an undergraduate program at Munich Business School um, where I teach business communication. I want to say something first about my interest in social media. And this began with me wanting to hand over more uh, the control of the learning process to uh, the learners. For years I felt that students were too happy to let me control their learning. So I wanted to offer them a way of taking control and basically becoming more autonomous. Um, I experimented with different, I experimented with a blog on my own website, but that didn't really satisfy my needs. So some years ago, I started looking on the web for other platforms. Um, and I considered, I, I, I looked at wikis, I looked at blogs, I looked at Moodle, and I looked at lots of other platforms. Um, but somehow they didn't do exactly what I was particularly looking for until a couple of years ago I discovered one particular website and that's the one which I'd like to demonstrate to you uh, today. Maybe you've heard of it, but I'll show you how I use it for teaching um, in my business English. Some definitions that I got off the, the web. So social media are media that allow users to interact with and publish to each other, generally by means of the internet. That's what we're using now, as Victor says. Um, also works of user-created video, audio, text, multimedia that are published and shared, for example, on a blog, a wiki, or a site, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Um, generally, any website or web service that utilizes this social part of it, or the Web 2.0, the fact that you can um, upload as well as uh, download. So the Web 2.0 is, is what we said where um, we were more just um, receivers of information. Companies would publish something on a website um, and we receive that information and the social part of it or the Web 2.0 part is where we can um, upload information and share information uh, with each other, share media with each now other. Now I'm going to show you how I use one of these platforms and that is the social media website Ning, this one down in the bottom right hand uh, corner here. It's, I'm not claiming that this is the best one, it's just the one that I've had most experience with and the one that I think has worked really, really well with my um, business English class. Okay, so what we're going to do now is, is watch a short two and a half minute video, uh, which I made earlier, of me talking through how I use Ning with my university.